Welcome back. We are here on Etoro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my forecast for September 29th, 2020. Um, and as you can see, we have rallied quite substantially in the trading session today, but we have given uh, some of those gains uh, back uh, when we basically entered the, uh, the US session. Uh, it looks like the 50 moving average is um, resistant at this point. Every time we get basically close to the 50 moving average, we basically uh, break down. So at this moment, we are trading in between the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average. It looks like the 200 moving average is um, supportive. Uh, so if we break to the upside, we'll go higher and we break uh, through the 200 moving average and then we are going lower. I do um, expect this market to go lower. We have developed a, um, a resistant line here, which we can see we tried to break through in the past. We did it again uh, last week, and now we're basically uh, running into the same resistant line. So uh, until this basically line is broken and the 50 moving average is broken, we are not going higher. Um, the market is rallying uh, quite substantially today, uh, mainly due to the uh, decrease in the US dollar index, um, which has been appreciating for uh, several days now. So uh, this may just be a short time rally uh, before we basically break down uh, more. There's no reason why uh, oil should um, uh, increase in value um, at this point due to the situation with the world economy. Demand just isn't there at the moment for this market to go all the way to 50. But have in mind, if we break the 50 moving average, we are going to um, 32 and then uh, 42 and then to the size of 33. So just keep that about that means that we have to have a green candle above the 50 moving average before we do that. So if you like these kinds of uh, analysis, you're welcome to uh, subscribe to our channel, uh, hit the like and uh, pay, uh, click the bell button in order to see our newest videos, which we are releasing every day now, um, except on Friday, because I use Sunday to release uh, the analysis for, for Monday. Um, but next, we are going to natural gas. So natural gas broke down quite uh, significantly uh, earlier today, but uh, again, bounced. And it looks like at this point we have, no, sorry, we're supposed to have that line. We can say that uh, 2.71 is uh, holding. We have basically uh, the, the top of this and also the bottom of this and that basically is holding at this point. And if that is the case, then we are basically going a lot higher in this market. We will go and target uh, 294 and after that we are going to target uh, 3.4. Uh, there is no reason to uh, short this market. Um, every major pullback towards the 50 moving average is a buying opportunity as long as the weather conditions are as they are in the United States at, at this point. However, if we look at the stochastic, it looks like we are about to turn around. So just um, keep in mind, if this line breaks, we probably will go and uh, and drop towards the 50 moving average. And at this moment, uh, stochastic is indicating that we are going to do that. It may well be that it turns around. The MACD has just crossed the signal line and is indicating in, that it's indicating bullish momentum. However, this is not a place where you should buy. Um, you should be basically buy when you have a major pullback similar to this one. That is the uh, uh, buying opportunity. If you buy here, the market can drop down for uh, several days and it will take even more days in order to get back to the level where you basically bought. So, so it, it is basically impossible to buy at this, at this point. We are not oversold, not overbought, so uh, we have uh, a lot of room to the upside also. So if you look at copper,
we are just hanging around at the 50 moving average. At this point, it is holding. We went, we broke down underneath the 50 moving average. We basically never, uh, never had a body of the of the candlestick underneath the 50 moving average, which is an, a very encouraging sign. Uh, we broke down all the way down to the 50 moving average uh, this today, and then bounce. At this point, we are just hanging around in this area. I do anticipate us to going higher, especially when the U.S. dollar index is dropping, and the Stochastic, for example, is showing that it's about to cross the signal line, and that means um, it means a bullish momentum. We are straight in the middle in the in the RSI, and it will probably take a few, probably two, three more trading days before the MACD crosses the signal line, indicating uh, bullish momentum. But this is a market that will mostly go higher. Uh, we are quite overstretched. The difference, between the, the difference between the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average is quite substantial. So, however, at this point, the 50 moving average is holding. If we were to break down here significantly, then we have the 200 moving average underneath and several other support levels. So, well, at this point, 50 moving average is definitely holding. So, if we look at gold... Gold is hovering around this area of uh, 1860, um, and there's not a lot that is happening at this point. Even though the, the US dollar index is um, depreciating at the moment, uh, we are not seeing a significant increase in the value of gold. Um, so at this moment, just wait. Um, I do in, uh, expect gold to go all the way down to 1800. Uh, worst case scenario, will it drop all the way down to the 200 moving average, which probably will be one of the best buying opportunities ever. So if that is the case, um, yeah, this is a really good buying opportunity. However, at this point, it's in gold is impossible to buy. It's basically in the middle of the, of the two uh, moving averages. And the technical indicators are, well, the, the stochastic is quite, it's, it doesn't, it has, hasn't crossed the signal line yet. Uh, it is technically flat. The same goes for the MACD. It's technically, it's, it's bearish at this point. And the RSI is technically also flat. So you technically just have to wait and to see what happens with gold. If it breaks a true the 50 moving average, that means that we are going higher. If we break down from this level of, uh, of 1848, then we go all the way down to 1800. Um, we may also just trade sideways here for a few trading days until the 200 moving average um, catches up. But at this point, gold is just not, you know, not tradable at, at this point. If you look at silver, It is it's the same situation. Uh, we broke down all the way down to 21.759. And at this moment, we are just hovering around this area of $22 and $23. Um, the technical indicators are fairly more positive for silver at this point. You can see the, um, the, the stochastic has crossed the signal line and indicating uh, uh, bullish momentum. The uh, MACD is quite far away, um, so we'll probably have another two or three trading days before um, this turns around and will and, and will increase. If we break down from here, 50, uh, 200 moving average is a support. If we uh, break to the upside, I do anticipate the, the 50 moving average to be uh, resistant at this point. However, if we break through that, then we are going uh, higher from there. It will probably go to uh, 28 and then go to 29. Long run for silver, uh, I'm, it is really bullish. Um, the only question here is when technically to buy, at what level? Um, 
I do expect if, if gold breaks down, silver will also break down. And, and I would not be surprised if we go to $20 uh, and, and in worst case scenario, or best case scenario for buyers, to all the way down to the 200 moving average. So we'll look at Kikoa. So Kokoa rallied uh, quite nicely the, the, this morning, but gave uh, away its um, gains. So we have a golden crossing here of the 200 moving average and the 50 moving average, indicating it bullish, uh, um, should be very bullish for this market. That's also probably the reason why we basically had this uh, uh, increase in the value of Kokoa. Uh, however, the MACD is not showing sign of bullishness. Um, the stochastic is kind of flat, the RSI is technically flat, and uh, the MACD is basically in, in downwards momentum. So we may just be hovering, trading sideways until the, uh, the 50 moving average catches up in this area here, and then we'll basically bounce. So this could be uh, technically a, a, a beginning of a bullish flag similar to this where we basically got close to the 50 moving average and then bounced to the upside. That is most likely what is going to happen in this market. If you look at Platinum. So Platinum has rallied quite significantly at, and but gave away some of its gain. At this moment, we are trading above the 200 moving average. I do expect uh, the 50 moving average to be resistant. However, the technical indicators for Platinum are uh, quite promising. We can see that uh, the stochastic has crossed the signal line. The RSI is pointed to upwards momentum, and the MACD is showing signs of uh, of of uh, of of, um, of bullishness. We'll probably have two more trading days before we cross the signal line, and that means that we'll go higher from here. We'll probably go all the way to the 50 moving average, have a pullback, and then continue upwards. If we were to break down from here, we have this entire area of, of support and the same goes for, for this area here. This will almost be impossible to get through. If that happens, we'll go all the way down to this area, which is 580, uh, uh, 85, 81. Sorry. If we were to break to the 50 moving average, we will target this level at 979 and then uh, 1000. So sugar. So sugar has broken down quite substantially. Um, I do expect uh, the 50 moving average to be uh, uh, to be supported here. However, we did break down through the 50 moving average only a few weeks ago and then bounced. So do expect this area of of uh, 0 0.1170 to be. Um, supportive. Um, if we break through the 50 moving average, we will go all the way down to this level here. The technical indicators are horrible at the moment. You can see the stochastic has broken through and it's downward momentum. The same goes for the RSI and the MACD is about to cross the signal line probably tomorrow or two days from now. So at this point, um, if we break the 50 moving average, we'll go down to this level. If we cross this level, we'll go even further down to this area here, uh, and then all the way down to this area here, which is 1051. But we are still in an uptrend in this market. There should be a support line here. So I don't expect us to go all the way down to this area. We'll probably bounce from the 50 moving average. If we don't, if we don't bounce from 50 moving, we'll bounce from this major um, support line here. Um, so yes, if you like this uh, video, you're welcome to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Good luck and uh, happy trading. Thank you very much.